Shepoy, how are you doing? I'm here in a typical autumn morning in a beautiful London park close to my home and in this video let's talk about what a spiritual awakening and depression is actually really about. All right so let's uh, dive straight in. So when we think about spiritual awakening we think about that we suddenly go through a state of you know let's say enlightenment and then you know we we became suddenly a different person, right? So we suddenly became into a in state of euphoric joy and love and excitement and all these fussy beautiful things. The thing is the process itself is not always quite like that and that's why I want to you know share my own thoughts about this because I'm currently also going through this and you know maybe we can share some experiences and see how it is like and maybe we can help and support each other so what a spiritual awakening is really about what i personally think it's a shift in personal identity because as we live here in this 3d world in this world of where thing is you know um is kind of like you know suppressed with each other it's you know like very whoosh, like pushed each other it can so sometimes feel like very very dense this world can feel very dense for an intuitive sensitive why for an intuitive sensitive because an intuitive sensitive has like you know they they can remember that you know they are part of something bigger that they have like multiple multiple aspects of themselves they have like we are multi-dimensional right we have a physical body we have a mental body emotional body spiritual energetic body um, and of course the soul which is connected to you know the all and the nothing so spiritual awakening is also a kind of like a process to learn to align yourself with all these kind of multi-dimensional bodies and become like one with that here in this 3d world which is quite a task if you can ask me but you know that's probably why we're here another thing is like we spoke about the spiritual awakening is actually about shifting your identity for example Let's say if you have been through a very emotional abusive relationship and you know you got like gaslighted where you constantly got ashamed and you know you, you, you felt very guilty, you were the faulty of everything and everything you have done, you have low self, uh, low self esteem, very low levels of self worth, you don't know who you are, where you belong, what you came here to do your gifts, your purpose, well you name it right, you're kind of like a very fragmented being right a very fragmented soul that is trying trying to figure out you know your whole purpose here on this 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 planet so you are this peaceful fragmented you know being and now you kind of really want to figure out okay so how can i become a whole being and maybe during this process you you indeed got some signs of you know insights very profound insights sudden signs of enlightenment that 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 like a very high form of higher intelligence of, of inspiration suddenly striked you it felt like a lightning strike and boom that suddenly gave you a new perspective on life on how you could you know potentially start to see yourself right in an in an, in a much higher form but then again you come and get back to your old form your old identity and then you're going to have this let's say internal conflict within yourself like all the parts of you and newer parts of you and then again you're trying to find an alignment or you're trying to align yourself with all these kind of aspects of yourself now when we talk about depression depression can also be like an, a state that is in between of where you were and where you want to be and it could mean two things number one is that you could say to yourself you know what um, I'm not where I want to be right I'm not where I want to be I'm not happy with myself um, I hate myself and you know you create like a an, an, an down, downward spiral right I'm not where I want to be I'm not where I want to be you're drumming this base right I'm not where I want to be I'm not where I want to be and eventually you create like a reality for yourself like I don't belong here I don't want to be here I don't want to be here I don't want to be here um, so yeah you create like a very intense you know isolation for yourself 
which is kind of like a part of the process as well and if you can do well if you can start to realize like wait a minute maybe this form of depression which is actually the second form maybe this form of depression that i have could also be like a state of rest right the body needs to rest the mind the emotional body the spiritual body needs to rest in order to adapt to my journey of integrating more of my multidimensional aspects of myself so that's also a very very important state of that i noticed that my battery is very low so hopefully it will not switch off until i'm done with this video but anyway let's move on so let's let, let me give you a couple of personal practical examples as well uh, because my first insight started you know like 2006 uh, where my first realization like wait a minute something is missing in my life which brought me to Peru uh, to Machu Picchu very powerful energetic place um, and when I came back to Netherlands uh, 2007, 2007 my entire perception of the world changed I started to question a lot of things I started to question my entire existence why I'm here what I'm doing here what is my purpose all these things right which again caused depression and then later on I got a couple of other very profound insights and then we actually growing to okay so now I had all these these insights pouring down coming down to me right all these lightning strikes of enlightenment right of spiritual awakening then you know if we have been on this path maybe for a while maybe then we start to adapt to let's say the spiritual ego identity which is also an right a common thing in our community where people suddenly change their outfits right they're going to dress in another way or they start to redecorate their entire house or they change their entire diet because they believe it's better for the planet um, and you know all these kind of things like they suddenly have to do right in order to fit in with this spiritual ego or spiritual identity which is also a very fascinating thing because again you know we also want to meet certain expectations with this identity and conform in a certain way and we expect from ourselves that we behave in a certain way and that we do certain things in a certain way right so that is also kind of like hey wait a minute you know is this my ego or do I still feel like, you know, true spirituality is really flowing through me and it's ex expressing through me. I'm still connecting with the flow of life or do I want to attach to this identity? So that's, of course, a very, very interesting concept. Now, talking about these uh, multidimensional aspects of ourselves, which is really what uh, you know spiritual awakening is truly really about is is integrating more of these multidimensional aspects of ourself what we must realize you know we live here in this physical world right where everything is dense right we feel dense you know everything is compressed here in this reality and we have a thing which is called of course like space-time I'm going to ask you a question that you know you can answer by just leaving a comment below and that is you know what do you think is the fastest way of transportation in our entire universe i'm very curious what is it just drop a comment below pause this video drop a comment below and let's move on one two three i gotta crack on because otherwise my battery runs out probably going to say okay it's the speed of light it's actually not the fastest way of transportation within our universe in the highest dimensions is thought projection now we live here in this, 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 this third dimension, in this world of duality, right? So we can experience the goods and the bads and then make a decision again about who we choose to be. That's why we go through conflicts, so we can remember who we choose to be as a human species, right? It's always about remembering who we choose to be, right? Who we really are. Um, so when we talk about space-time, and it's actually a delay of thought projection so for example i can give you an idea like hey how would it be to earn fifteen thousand pounds a month you would say awesome right and then you currently look at where you currently are and you say you know what i'm not there i'm not there i'm not where i want to be i'm not where i want to be and then you separate or isolate yourself from that id 
Now, we live here in this space-time reality with a delay of our thought projection, right? Of our thought forms. Which could be a bad thing, it could be a good thing. <laughs> so, when we have this delay, it's always about bringing again this, this highest form of traveling, thought projection, like, hey, how would it be to have 15,000 pounds a month? And then we have to bring it in again into our me mental body. We have to bring it in into our feeling state. Can we really feel it how it would like to earn that amount of money? And then bring it into reality, into manifestation, into physical reality through actions, right? So we have to really align you know, with the thought, the feelings and the actions to bring it into reality. That contains, of course, a delay, right? It doesn't happen instantly. That is maybe the bad thing, otherwise we all would be multimillionaires and have the good life. The good thing about it is, what if I gave you right now the idea, like how would it like to pet a lion? Can you imagine what it would like to pet a lion? Now, right now you're thinking about petting a lion, but the good thing about having that delay in our third dimension is that when you think about it and it would happen instantly right now there will be a predator sitting next to you and he will look at you and you're like hey you know what you will be nice for my lunch and boom you're gone you're into pieces so that is like you know the world of reality so you know we can um you know we can we, we can experience let's say the good or the bad in the way we identify it as the good or the bad based on our perception of reality and then always choose on how we choose to be and become right so that's kind of really what spirituality or spiritual awakening is about it's always about okay so where are you currently at okay can you create a sense of acceptance in that because if you create non-acceptance right you detach yourself from the present moment and you are attaching yourself to a certain type of identity right can you detach yourself from that really see how you can accept where you're currently at and then when you do so you're fully aligned in the present moment and within this present moment you can start to you know align these different aspects of yourself and then bring in more of your true spiritual self your you know your energetic body your soul your over soul that really comes um, through you and then you start to really you know bring beautiful things from yourself together that's really the real journey that we are on make sense how does it feel does it feel right please let me know just drop a comment below and hopefully I will see you in one of my next videos. Take care for now. Bye-bye.